Imagine getting dental implants and thinking the hard part is over, only to discover the type of gum tissue around them could make or break their long-term success. Today I'll walk you through a real case where we uncover implants and dive into a crucial detail often overlooked, the difference between keratinized gingiva and oral mucosa. This isn't just about technique, I'll show you what you need to look out for inside a patient's actual mouth so you can understand why the right kind of gum tissue is essential for the durability and comfort of dental implants. If you find this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more insights, and share it with someone who's considering implants. Your smile deserves the best care. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, um, I wanna show you a case of um, dental implants. Um, I didn't place these implants, but today I wanna do an uncovery for this patient. Um, he's actually a hygienist at our grapevine office, but you could see here on the upper right that we actually placed um, two implants that are buried in the gums, so you can't see them. So our other doctor did a sinus lift on him and actually placed two implants. Now, again, these implants are buried in the bone, so you can't see them, but one thing that, the reason I wanted to show this video is that he actually has um, thinner gums and tissues, like what we call like a thinner biotype. And you could see that this movable tissue right here, and I can actually use this blunt instrument, and I have to be gentle because this gums is like more sensitive, but this movable gum, if um, what you never want is you never want this movable gum, what we call just your mu oral mucosa, you don't want that right next to the future crown of the implant because this tissue is thinner, more irritated, more, um, it's just basically not a very firm type of tissue. Now look at the other type of gums here on the adjacent teeth here. This is uh, again, what we call keratinized gingiva. Um, and then again, this mucosa, you could see where it's at right here. You could easily see kind of like the delineation of where it starts. So Henry, if I like go like this, it doesn't bother you at all, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's your gums are nice and thick and resilient. But if I start going like mm -hmm. this, oh, that hurts, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's another reason why, you know, people would have had sensitivity around the crown. And I was just using this, right? So it's like a very gentle instrument, but it still bothers him. So. When I'm doing this implant uncovery, when I'm getting to these implants and I'm gonna put those healing abutments on, I wanna be very careful and make sure that his remaining keratinized gingiva, which starts right here, that I don't just randomly make an incision where I want to, but I need to make the incision further over here so I can pull that gum over further in this direction. So that's gonna be a lot more helpful in his future when we put those crowns on. So. Whenever we do these implant on we gotta be thinking about things like that, how much keratinized gingiva there is, and make sure we pull it to the right direction. Now, if he doesn't have an adequate amount of keratinized gingiva in a case like this, this is where we do gum grafting. So we could do um, connective tissue grafting. Um, we could harvest a little tissue from the roof of the mouth or use human donor tissue to be able to bulk up that gum to make sure that he has a, um, no issues in the future. Now. Not having, why, why do I talk about this? Not having the adequate type of tissue in that area is actually um, what, you know, having a thin biotype is gonna be one of the predetermining factors for him having issues with his implants in the future. So you might be fine and you might not have issues for a few years, but later on long-term, because he's so young, you wanna make sure that if you're looking at the long-term prognosis of the implant, so we're talking about decades, you always wanna be very cognizant of making sure that he has the right quality of gums in those areas.